Hi, in this tutorial, I will going to guide you how to set up the in-app products on Google Play as well as on the Apple Developers account. First, go to Edit Project Settings and click on In-app Purchasing under the Services tab and turn it on. Here, first we need to go to our Google Developer Console account. Let's go to Google Developer Console account. Here I have created a demo game for the for the testing purpose. Here, if you scroll down, you need to click on the monetization setup and copy the license key from here. Back in Unity, you need to paste it over here. Now we also need to copy and paste the same license key to the Unity project settings. Let's click on Unity project settings in the dashboard over here. And copy and paste the Google license key here. Click on edit and paste it over here. Click save. Back in Unity, now we need to click on obfuscate license keys. This will going to prepare the project for the in-app purchase. Now we need to upload the first APK with the in-app purchases activated to the Google Play Console. If you go to the Google Play Console, you will see that before creating the in-app products, it will ask you to upload the APK with the billing permissions. Now I have uploaded the APK with the billing permission to the internal testings over here. I have already done it and I have also added the tester with my email. Now back in Unity, now here as you can see I have created the inner purchase UI. Let's activate it and deactivate the ads UI. And for the in-app purchase UI, I have created three different kinds of buttons, consumable, non-consumable, and subscription. Now, what I want is when I purchase the consumable item, I want to increase the 5,000 coins here. And if I purchase the non-consumable item, I will going to remove the ads from the game, as well as I will going to activate the non-consumable purchase panel like this. And finally, when I will purchase subscription item, then I will going to activate the subscription purchase panel like this. Now let's get back to the Google Play Developer Console and add some products. Let's first create the consumable product, which is in my case, 5,000 coins. Let's click on create product. And here we need to provide a product ID. Let's type here by 5000 coins. And for the product name, I will going to name it as coins. And for the description, type get 5000 coins. You can also set a price or choose a pricing template. I will going to set a price of 199 rupees. Click on apply. We also need to make sure to enable the checkbox multi quantity so that we can buy more than one of this product in a single transaction. Let's click on enable multi quantity and click save. This product ID has already been used and deleted, it cannot be reused. We can Fix it by creating another hyphen over here and click save. Great. Let's click on activate. Back to the in-app products. Now we need to create the non-consumable product. We can do by following the same steps. Click on create product. Type I no ads for the name i will going to type no ads 
and for the description we can type remove as from game here we can set a price for this 2.99 and click apply prices and this time we do not need to check this checkbox for multi quantity as once purchased the ads will be removed from the game and this product cannot be repurchased click save changes and then click activate get back to the in-app products now we properly set up both the, the coins and no ads products for the consumable as well as the non-consumable items now let's set up it for the subscription click on subscriptions let's create subscriptions give it a product id name now we're going to call it VIP membership one week and I will going to name it as one week membership click create now here let's add the subscription benefits let's add the subscription benefits get bonus levels for seven days and for the description we can type get one week VIP membership let's click on save changes get back to the subscriptions page and here let's add a base plan let's click on the add a base plan for the base plan we can type one week base plan i will choose the type to be auto renew let's remove the hyphen from here and i will going to charge the billing period to be weekly I will going to leave the other settings as it is and will scroll down and click on set price and here I will choose all the countries click on set price I will choose the currency to be USD and for the price I will choose 4.99 and click on update and after this I'm going to save the changes and activate this get back to the subscriptions now we have successfully activated the subscriptions as well as the in-app products let's get back to the in-app products and here we can see that consumable and non-consumable is all set now we can create the in-app products on the apple's developer account to do this we can go to the app store connect and here as you can see I have already created the demo game over here we can create the in-app purchases let's click on create let's select the type to be consumable and for the reference name points and for the product ID we can copy and paste the same product ID that we used for the Google Play Console let's copy this and paste it over here click create now we need to set up the availability let's click done and for the price let's choose the price to be 1.99 usd and click next click next click confirm now after this we are also required to upload the screenshot for the review purpose only to do this now let's get back to unity and here let's take a screenshot now the resolution that i am using is 2208 by 1242 you can find the screenshot specification over here into this link and the resolution that i am using is this 
Now let's get back to Unity and click on Tools, Quick Monetization and click on Open Screenshot Tool. And here let's give the screenshot a name. I will go to name it as IAP iOS and click on Take Screenshot. Let's close this, go to your project, click on Assets and right click and reveal in folder. Get back to the App Store Connect and here let's drag and drop this IAP iOS screenshot over here and for the review notes we need to type where this consumable button is located. I will going to type the button is located in the bottom left of the screen. Let's click on save and get back to the in-app purchases. Now we need to create the non-consumable product type to do this. Click on plus sign, choose non-consumable. And for the product ID, we can go back to the Google Play Console, copy the product ID from here and paste it back over here. Click create. Everything else will remain the same. Click done. For the pricing, we will choose 2.99 USD and click next. Click next. Click confirm. Now, here we need to upload the same screenshot that we took previously. But here we need to specify where the non consumable button is actually located. And for this, I will go to type the button is located in the bottom center of the screen. And after this, I will click save. And I will go to get back to the in app purchases. And now we have successfully created the consumable and the non consumable item. For the subscription, we need to go to the subscriptions page and click on create we can type here VIP membership one week click create now here we can create subscription and here we can copy and paste the product ID from from the subscriptions tab and here we can copy and paste the product ID Let's copy it from here and paste it over here. And for the reference name, I will type VIP membership. Click create. Here we can specify the subscription duration, which is one week in our case. And for the availability, I will choose the availability to be all countries. Click done. And for the price, we can choose the USD and the price to be $4.99. Click next, click next, click confirm. Now, let's upload the same screenshot over here. And type the review notes. In this case, the button is located in the bottom right of the screen. Click save and get back to the subscriptions. As you can see, we successfully added the subscriptions. Great! So we successfully added the in-app products in both the Google Play Console and the Apple Developers account. Thanks for watching this video.